Good day. One of our previous videos was discussing the snap fit enclosure design, and now we're making a fun project with that snap fit method. And here it is, a mini stereo speaker enclosure. This project will need other components, and they are two small loudspeakers. In this video, I'm using 20 watts 1.5 inch mini hi-fi loudspeakers, and then an amplifier module. Here I'm using BAM8610 module, a class D amplifier with stereo 15 watt output. But anyway, you can also try to use other like BAM8403, which has only 3 watts output but using 5 volt DC that can be supplied from a USB terminal. And then some cables, 12 volts power adapter, audio cable, switch, jumper cable bolts and nuts. In this project, I'm using sizes M2 and M3. Now, the printing result itself has some bulge and excess on the edges and corners, so I fix it with files and sandpaper before we can continue assembling the unit. Also, the bolt holes need to be enlarged. Due to the printing orientation, they are filled with excess materials. Next, I put the M3 bolts in place for both loudspeakers. and then attach the loudspeaker one side at a time and fasten the bolts with nuts then the same step for the other speaker Next, we will install the amplifier, but first, we will attach the jumper cable to connect to the power switch. And then, install the amplifier. I put the volume potentiometer through the panel hole and tighten it with a supplied nut. After that, installing the switch. I'm using M2 bolts and nuts to hold it in place. Now time for some soldering. I bend the male jumper ends, slide it inside the switch terminals, and solder it. And then, about the jumper to the board, looks like it's not tight enough. I need to use hot glue, but none is available at the time, so as a temporary measure, I'll stick it with foam tape. Next, soldering the loudspeaker wires. then layering the other end with soldering tin and attach it to the amplifier's output terminal similar thing to the other loudspeaker but since this one will be in the other compartments I route the wires through the hole in the back of the case before going to the amplifier's output.
Next, plugging in the audio cable and power adapter. Another problem, I can't close the enclosure. Apparently, the power plug is sticking out too far. So then, I tried another alternative, checking which points in the amp circuit that receiving positive and negative polarity from the power supply. Found them, and now to work around this problem, I solder two wires to the positive and negative point of the amplifier. Then cut the charger cable, check the polarity, and connect with the newly added power wire. Then using heat ring to protect the connection. Replug the audio cable and now closing the speaker enclosure. Another small issue, the volume knob looks a bit crooked to one side. To address that, I reopen the case and I use scraper to pry open the enclosure. Then I cut the tab on the front part of the potentiometer. Now install the M again and then close the enclosure. Anyway, you might also notice that the front panel surface has some imperfections. Looks like I set the printer nozzle too close to the heat pad. And here's the result. Power switch at the top, a hole for indicator light below, then volume knob at the bottom. And two cables coming from the back, an audio cable, and a power adapter cable. However, this power cabling needs to be improved later because of the connection to the amp board, I will need to add a fuse. And now, this is how it sounds. Yes, it lacks lower frequency, but to be honest, the camera recording makes it worse. It produces a quite decent sound in real life, and actually I edit this video using this speaker. If you're interested in making one, I will share the STL and TSM files on Cal's 3D later on, but please make sure to adjust the dimension to the components that you have, for example, the speaker opening size and also the bolt holes. That's all for now, if you like this video, please support us by clicking like and subscribe, have fun, have a great day, bye!